Okay, what expert settings are you going to pick? I have personally been making YouTube videos for the past two years and I've tested out quite a bit. And here is my favorite and what I use right now. I'm just going to put this random clip into the timeline. Press Ctrl M, which brings up the export menu. If you're not familiar with that command, you can always just click File, Export, Export Media. And here you have a lot of options. The format that you want to pick is H.24. QuickTime is also good, but this is more universal. Now, these are in the main settings. There's quite a bit, and you'll notice as I get down to the very bottom, there's the YouTube custom settings. And these are all right, you can see what it does here. But in my opinion, it's a bit too basic. So, I have my custom settings right here, and this is what I've come up with. So I don't touch my video width, height, or frame rate at all. I'll leave that as is. And I use VBR Pass 1 and 20 megabits per second. This is very important. It makes a very smooth video. One thing to note is, so let's put in 10. And if you see here, the file size is 576 megabytes. But when you bring up to 20, it goes all the way to 1.1 gig. That's an important thing to keep in mind if your storage is low. Always use maximum render quality. Use previews. This actually uses your video previews from your timeline and it renders quicker. And I always check render a maximum depth. This adds a tiny bit of quality. And that's it. Now for the audio. I leave it in AAC. 48,000 Hz. Stereo. Always always stereo and the highest bitrate. The rest of this is just standard but here's what it is. When I'm happy with my settings and how the video is named I just click export and there you go.